everyone, this video will explain how we get the standard form or the graphing form of a circle. So this is the standard form or graphing form of a circle. We've used this equation in graphing the circle in the other videos, but how did we get this? How do we get this equation? Where, where is it coming from? Okay, so this video is going to explain that. So first, we have a circle here. I also have a distance formula over here. We're going to use that in deriving the equation or the standard or graphing form of a circle. So first thing that we need to do is to um, draw a radius. So let's say this is a radius right here. Okay, so and then we are going to um, choose a ordered pair or a coordinate, a point here and another point over here. So let's say our center here, we will name this as our HK. So the coord or the ordered pair of the center is HK. And then this uh, point right here on the circle, we will name this as XY. Okay, so the next thing that we are going to do here is to create a right triangle. By the way, this one right here is the radius. So that's the radius of the circle. And remember that the radius is going to be the same all throughout. It's the length of the radius is the same all throughout. So what are we going to do is we can create a triangle out from this. So let's create a right triangle. So this um, right triangle right here. So um, I created the right triangle. So that's a right triangle right there. Before we uh, look into the uh, uh, the ordered pair for this dot right here, let us first determine where uh, the coordinate on the x-axis for this. So this one can be, um, so we can label this right here as our um, y. And let's label this one right here as our K. So that's the K right here. And this one right here is H. So based on this coordinate. So that's how we got HK. So it's coming from this. So that's the H. That's a random number H. This is a random number K on the Y axis. And this one right here would be our um, X. So we're going to name this as X. So that means this is a random um, number X on the X axis. And this is a random um, Y on the um, Y axis. So representing letters on it. So it can be any number. So we don't know what it is. So we are going to uh, determine what is the coordinate of this vertex of the right triangle. So looking at this, we can say that this is actually equal, I mean, this one will have a coordinate of X and K. So that's X and K. So this coordinate is X and K. This coordinate is H and K. This, uh, this point will have a coordinate of X, Y. Okay, now we are going to um, label the parts of the uh, right triangle. This side can be labeled as our A. The legs are labeled A, and this one is labeled B, and this one is labeled C. So that is the, the two legs, A and B, and then the hypotenuse would be C. In order that we can solve for C, we're going to use the Pythagorean theorem. That would be A squared plus b squared equals c squared. So that's the Pythagorean theorem. The, le the, uh, the sum of the square of the two legs is equal to the hypotenuse. But in this problem that we have here, our uh, c is actually represented as letter r, which is the radius. So we represent that it's the radius. Now the thing is, how do we solve for the length of a? How do we represent that? So we're going to show that up here. So we are going to use the distance formula to find the length of A. So in order that we can do that, we are going to label this as our X sub 1. And this is our Y sub 1. And this is our X sub 2, Y sub 2. Because we're going to use the distance formula. So looking at this, we can, um, we're, we're again, we're solving for A. So we're looking for the length of A. So uh, distance formula would be equal to the square root of what is our X sub 2. Our X sub 2 is 
x minus x sub 1 is h, and that is a squared plus. Then we have a y sub 2, so y sub 2 is k minus y sub 1 is k squared. So k minus k will come out to be, again, we're, we're solving d is equal to uh, the distance on a. So we can represent our distance here as a instead of just, uh, the, the, uh, just distance. So we can go ahead and simplify this to be x minus h squared plus 0 squared. 0 squared is just 0. So then we can go ahead and say our a is equal to the square root of x minus h squared. Now squared and square root uh, get cro gets crossed out. So we're left with our a is actually x minus h. So this is the length of a. So a is equal to x minus h. At this time, I would encourage you to pause this video and try to solve for b. So how do you think should we solve for the length of b? Okay, so let's go over the problem here. So we can label this, um, in order that we can have a positive y, let's change the label here. Let's label this side right here as our x sub 2 and then uh, y sub 2, and this is our x sub 1, y sub 1. So we're going to use the equation of, uh, the equation for distance over there to find for b. So the distance using the um, formula up here, uh, we have um, x sub 2, or x sub 2 is x, so that would be a square root of, that is um, x minus, or x sub 1 is x, so x minus x squared plus, then we are going to use the other one right here. y sub 2 is actually y minus y sub 1 is k, and then that's a squared. So then x minus x is just 0. So we can go ahead and rewrite this. Again, the distance that we're looking at is our the distance of b or leg b. So we can name this as b. So x minus x is 0 squared, it's just 0, plus y minus k squared. So then we are left with b is actually equal to the square root of y minus k squared. And then from here, we can cross the square root and the squared. So we're left with b is equal to y minus k. So this length right here is actually represented as y minus k. Did you get the same answer as this? Good. Perfect. Now, we are going to put this into the Pythagorean theorem that we have here at the bottom. So, we say that um, a, um, a squared plus b squared equals c squared. And we have derived uh, the, the, the ex expression that is equivalent to a, leg a, and the expression that is equivalent to leg b. So, then we plug this in here. So our a is x minus h. So I'm going to write x minus h. And then there's a square. So I'm going to put a square. This was just a. So what I did was I plugged in a into this. And there's like a square there. So I put them together. This was the a squared. And then plus our b is, we put this in, y minus k. That's the b. And then there is a square on B. So I'm going to put a square here. Is equal to our C was represented as the radius. So then we go ahead and say R squared. And so we got the graphing form or the standard form of a circle. So these two equations that we have here are a match. And that is how we got the standard form or graphing form of a circle. That's it. If you find this video helpful, hit like and subscribe for more math videos. See ya!